and welcome back home with the New Hamsters. We're gonna put in some rain barrels today. We got the gutters up on the roof for the shed over there yesterday and they mostly seem to be working so gotta wait till we get some real rain to find out but next thing we gotta do is put these together so we can collect the water and so uh, got some nice tools ready to go some power tools some fun we're gonna punch holes in here for a spigot and also an extra set of holes for a connector to tie the two together so that we can increase the volume of rain we can uh, hold. Did a little bit of math on how much rain we would collect with the roof and the size and how many barrels we need. Uh, the stuff I found online said a 200 square foot roof would fill a barrel with a half inch of rain and our roof is about a third the size of that and a half inch of rain so it mean an inch and a half would fill up one barrel. Uh, Obviously, two barrels, given that, is probably a little overkill, uh, but what you don't see is I've got a third that we decided not to hook up because I apparently you know, dreamt too big on this project to, from the get-go. But we're going to give this a start, uh, see where we end up, and try to get it put together. One thing to consider is the barrels are upside down right now, uh, and we've got open lid barrels, which will help, but we got to get the holes uh, basically on this sense. I'm doing it upside down mostly so I don't have to bend over as much. Uh, Bizarrely, the kit I bought, even though they're from the same vendor, two different sizes for the two different holes, so there's gonna be a little bit of work switching that up as well. Um, but the barrel's got a little bit of a curve here. I'm gonna come up just a little bit, get closer to the flat for the spigot hole. And then for the holes that link them, just gonna come around the side a little bit more. Uh, and also up a little bit, or down a little bit, which will be up a little bit on the barrel, so the, the link will be just a little higher. Exactly where the holes go here doesn't matter too much, but I do want them offset so that it'll come around. And then the other key is to make sure that these two are on this at the same height so that the water can come across easy. That one came nice and nice and clean. Some super exact measurements here. I'll just come right in there. And then as promised, clean it up with the utility knife. It doesn't have to be perfect, but you want it relatively clean so that you get a decent seal with the O-ring. Um, the next step now, we got to flip them over so we can drop our fittings inside. All right, so we got that on the line there. We're ready to go fishing. The other key thing on this particular part is this is sort of a double setup. Uh, you put this whole bushing on the front and then or this, you know, this bulkhead fitting on and we put the spigot inside it. So it actually gets threaded backwards. So the whole lefty loosey righty tighty thing. This one you actually have to spin on the wrong way to make it catch, which is I'm use a pair of slip joints just to get it tight. What you're going for there is snug but not over tight. Let the washer do its job without over compressing it. Um, also got a little plumber's tape, Teflon tape for the threads. Uh, no need to go overboard, but you know, use the tools the way they're supposed to be used. And now we're going to go ahead and put these other fittings in. Same idea. Oh, all right. 
red. This one I can reach without fishing. And this one goes on the normal direction. All right, well, with that work done, next thing we're gonna do is set up the space over here to put the barrels in. Uh, I got a bunch of cinder blocks to help lift them up. That'll give us a little extra water pressure flowing out to the rest of the yard, keep them off the ground, keep them safe, and get them closer to the downspout, which you'll see comes in handy in just a few minutes. So, now time for moving some cinder blocks around and maybe shoveling some dirt to make sure I can get everything level. All right, so I've got my platform set up now. The next step is gonna be to get the barrels over here and get connected up to my drain spout. Okay, so I had to adjust things a little bit, but it was pretty close to begin with. Uh, final step, I bought a flexi downspout. There's a lot of options for other diverters and things, but given the short run on this one and the fact that it's right here, I figured this would be easier than just about anything else. So extend it out, clip it in, and then I'm gonna have to decide how I wanna punch it into a hole in here. This is probably the right size and shape that I could just put it in the two inch bunk hole on top. If I change my mind on that, then I have a Dremel that I'll cut a hole in that's the actual shape and insert this all the way through. Well, this isn't so good. Uh, it doesn't count as a real project unless you have to go back to the store, I guess. It turns out that the size of the flexi downspout I bought doesn't match the, uh, the drain quite right. So I gotta go back and get the right size. Uh, oops. Okay, so clearly bought the wrong parts and this isn't even the right part, but given what was available at the store and not wanting to take this whole thing apart, and trying to reconfigure it with a smaller downspout. Uh, and because I don't really care about extra drips, we're just gonna go with this. So funnel, we'll sit under here quite nicely. It'll attach on, and then we'll be able to attach the flexi downspout onto that. Added bonus, this actually fixes the problem I had of the flexi downspout not being quite long enough. So a little bit of a win.
right, so that's pretty well attached. Uh, and then, like I said, last thing to do is get the downspout into the barrel. Um, I thought about trying to use the two-inch bung hole. I could spin it around and line it up, but it doesn't quite fit perfectly, and then I wouldn't get to use the Dremel, so. Definitely not perfect, but it's installed, sturdy enough. This seems to be wanting to hold. And you know, just need to wait for some rain now to see if it actually works. Fingers crossed.